Crazy Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Boom. 10 minutes, baby. Yeah. Get it all out. I will. So, TNT. What? We all know that in the last few weeks, Bob Saget died. Yes. And they, uh, they, they said that he ended up dying because he hit his head and mm. it wasn't drug or alcohol related. Um, recently this week, or I don't know where time, time wise, as far as when this has come out recently, his autopsy came out mm. and they said that the force of the head injury he had was the equivalent of being hit in the head with a baseball bat or falling from like 30 feet. Are we here to discuss foul play in the Bob Saddick disease? So it, it started to come out that they're like, well, what the hell happened to him that he would have had? If you were, it's, it, it was basically enough trauma that like it would have like broke his head. Okay. And so, so it, and they say, oh, he may have fell in the shower or hit his head on the headboard. That's not that same. Like I've cracked my head on the headboard really hard before. It ain't 30 foot fall baseball bat type trauma. <laughs> but they also said that they have electronic oh, locks, and once he went in for the night, the door didn't open again until the next day when they oh, found his dead body. So the assailant was already in the house. And then jumped out the window. And then they were like, I'm taking out elderly Bob Saget. Yeah, but like, so what the hell happened? I don't know. He probably fell. But, I don't know. I'm just, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I know. But like, that's, I mean, that's some, yeah, cause like, it's one thing to be like, oh, he fell and hit his head. Oh, yeah, okay. But like baseball bat type trauma. What what hitman is trying to kill Bob Saget? I don't know, dude. Who's out here trying to get Bobby? Maybe he knew something about some stuff, dude. Ah, uh, he had some dirt on freaking Stephanie and Michelle. Yeah. Or the, the Olsen twins. They had to get out of here. They climbed in his hotel room window with yeah, a, yeah. a ladder. It's definitely too soon for that too. But I'm I made the joke. It's yeah, but made. no, dude. I don't know. It's just it's just interesting that uh. You know, it's yeah. you know what I think is really interesting is the fact is that eventually for us, and that goes for you at home too, like a fall in the shower is going to take a lot of us out. You know, like we we've made it through like the the drug induced ashtabula that we could have we could have succumbed to. Oh yeah, uh, we haven't been in any serious car accidents, which could happen any day as well. Exactly, none of us are really thrill seekers where we're like, oh, I gotta jump out of a plane on a bike and yeah, window shoot, dude, while wrestling a polar bear, or something right. crazy like that. So you know, you basically just bide your time until the shower takes I'm gonna, you out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trip on my own feet and break my face or yeah, something. Yeah, you're just biding your time until the shower takes yeah. you out, man. You uh, yeah. like I, I've I fell in the bathroom one time um, since I have lived here, and I was like, whoa! If I wasn't the age I am now. This could have been a different story. Oh, wow. It wasn't in the bathtub. It was like I was sitting, I was leaning up against the sink, and I was sending a text message or something, and my socks just slid because we got, like, hardwood floors or whatever. Oh. And oh, my man, socks just, like, slid from underneath me, and I was like, wow, I need, like, a rug in here. <laughs> yeah. You don't need bathroom rugs? No. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of wetness in there, so, like, that prevents man. a lot of... But uh, the... Uh... The other thing that I just saw, too, related to p conspiracy theories, there's another person in the whole Epstein scandal. Like, there was, like, a... Another person. Another, like, that. the lady got arrested and got convicted or whatever. Hillary. He, sure. And Is it Hillary? Oh, okay. Janine Maxwell or whatever. Jeseline Maxwell. Yeah. yeah, and then there was, I guess there was a... There was another guy who was arrested in France, mm -hmm. and he was like, he was he's part of that, too. He ended up dead in jail, like, very recently, mm -hmm. too. I'm like, oh, wow. Top top Reddit comment was like, I wonder what Janine thinks. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, they're just more and more. That's definitely different than falling in the shower. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely convinced. And, you know, if I end up dead in the next week, you guys know who did it. But I'm convinced that there is a child sex ring out there. Oh, with like it's, prominent. Well, Prince Andrew settled his case with the girl. Do you see that? He was going to go to trial finally. And then all of a sudden the girl previously said no amount of money will prevent the justice I want for you. Except and then for, all of a sudden today yep. or two days ago or a week ago or whatever, she was like, 
Yeah, we'll, we settled out of court. Yeah, except for the crown jewels. Right. Look, man, it's clear. It's, I saw those, by the way. That was, it was, it's really weird those even exist. Like, they're they impressive. Look, they look fake. They do, but Anyways, they're real. Yeah. It is very, very clear that if you got enough money, you can get whatever you want, right? Out, and you can get here. away with anything you want, and you too. You can get away with anything you want mm-hmm. out here in these streets. And I find it hard to believe that some of these wealthy men who have not had the best of luck with talking to or being around women to the majority of their life, because when you're coming up, you can dedicate yourself to, to a few different things, a few different assets. So it could be to making money or women or, you know, football or whatever you want it to, whatever right, you want right. it to be. A lot of these guys with billions of dollars, they dedicate their lives to making money and not necessarily to the social interaction with others and or women. For right, that right, matter. yeah. And then, I, you know, they, they get the itch. And yeah, for, for us, it's just scrolling through. Like sometimes, Jonas, don't you ever go to like the, the P-Hub and like look up something a little, a little out of your wheelhouse? Sure. I mean. Yeah. Well, imagine if you had a billion dollars, you could just order up that. that you could just order something up. Yeah. Well, dude, well, here's the thing. Yeah, you get we, bored. Everyone knows that prostitutes are out there, right? There's women out there, men too. You yeah. can go to them and pay them for sex. For so sure. who is to say who who out there believes that if that exists, that there isn't another level of a deep seated like people doing it again, not necessarily against their will, but they're too young to understand yeah. that it's wrong, yeah. and that it's a service like you call up a, your rich buddy and he's like, oh no, I can get you a girl, don't worry, you know, yeah. send me ten k. And the longer you're exposed to these escorts, you're gonna be like, oh wow, I can get hot girls anytime I want to. Uh, I'm kind of off hot girls the same way like that guy who is on P Hub a little too much. Right. You get tired of looking at hot girls and you're like, I don't know, let me look at some S and M hot girls. So you do that and then you're like, okay, I'm kind of off S and M hot girls so why the normal every man is just on the p hub this guy is ordering them up just spending the money well right well here's the thing it's nothing just spending money like water and then you're like kids for you or i if somebody was like we'll get you any girl you want for ten thousand dollars we're like yo ten thousand dollars is a lot of money yeah i ain't got it but if you got a billion dollars and they're like here ten thousand dollars for a night with this beautiful woman you're like 10k i make that in a minute yeah like bezos is out here yeah. imagine what bezos is doing with his money i imagine who bezos is doing with his probably money. on lolita island oh, that was Jesus. i don't think that was the real timer though that was i accidentally tapped it did you that did i did <laughs> okay <laughs> anyways we're gonna have to watch it because it might uh it might not ring a second it's, it's time fine. It's fine. but uh, i was like that was perfect timing but yeah dude so it's it's all but i guess it's all subjective because right like the average man isn't going to pay that much money for a prostitute whether it of age, underage, whatever, <laughs> but but any but any dude who has money or woman who has money, you're willing to pay way more for stuff that the the average layman yeah. is not willing to pay for. Yeah, I I just feel like it goes beyond money, and it's just about like uh, what be what can still get those same dopamine hits. Um, so yeah. like, like, even, like I said, even if you're poor and all you can do is P hub, eventually you're going to get tired of looking at the same thing and you're going to go for something different. A drug, de- a drug user is going to look for different drugs. So a person who is able to order up all these women <laughs> is going to get tired. They're going to go for something a little different and eventually they might find themselves on the darker side of something different and they're like, something that's actually illegal. Yes. Yeah. I mean, prostitution. Is well, illegal. well, right. But but in the majority but of the right. world, like but. on top of it being illegal, like yeah, you're with. You're, yeah. It's either against their will or they're yes. underage or whatever yes. the to get the same dopamine hits that they were getting before. Um, like, and I, I feel like that's that's a that's something that a lot of people fall into, even regardless of how much money they have, well, they, because they there's say, always uh, ways to get into that dark side of whatever can get you your dopamine. What do they call it? Chasing the dragon. Yes. Is that, exactly. But and it's not just heroin that that's a term. I mean, people yeah. use that term with heroin, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. like, it's anything. If yeah. you're if you're if you're good at playing sports, eventually you're so good at your sport, you're like, I need to try a different sport. I mean, Michael Jordan mm-hmm. went and played baseball. I mean, he got suspended, and you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. suspended. You know, but like, it eventually you that dopamine isn't enough, and you move on. You want to try something else. Be like, well, if I'm that good at basketball, maybe I'll be the best baseball player too. <laughs> maybe I'll yeah. be the best at women's wrestling. Right, exactly. But you're a dude. You can't even. Right. It's, see, and, and it's crazy because there's like been a push lately. Um, I'm, I don't know how many people at home will know about this, but there's been a push lately for uh, the, they call them maps. Okay. Are you familiar with I this term? Know. 
MAP stands for male, uh, male attracted. Oh my God, I can't remember it. Thank God I don't remember it. I don't remember what. <laughs> well, we're almost out of time. So anyways, pedestrians. Kid, tra- either way, maps are people who are attracted to children, and there's been a push oh. for them to be included in the LGBTQ rights. Obviously, oh, I think I think the time now right. the time is okay. Fine. But uh, oh, it's like a new term for like uh, yes. N- Nambla or whatever. Yeah, it's a it's a new term for pedos. But Jesus. they they are trying to get their own rights in, oh and they're de- obviously they're not going people to are because not, it's uh, highly illegal. People are not. Yeah, they're not yeah. Uh, very. Uh, what's the word? Uh, concern? No. Sympathetic to, to no, to, not at all. Yeah, I was gonna so. look up maps. All right, well, that's all time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Uh, we out.